In less than a month, the new Fishers Event Center will welcome the public for the first time. Crews are putting finishing touches in and around the building, and today we got a look inside ahead of the grand opening. It's been just a little more than 20 months since construction got underway on the site. The building will seat around 7,500 fans for hockey, the Indy Fuel being the primary tenant of the building. Concerts and community events will fill out the calendar around sports. Multiple premium seating options are available, and every seat will have great sight lines of all the action. I think there's a good spot for it in the market in terms of capacity. And then when you look versatility of the building to be able to go from hockey events to concerts seamlessly. So we'll do a fuel game on a Friday night and 6 a.m. We're loading in a concert the next day. So it's going to allow us with the, the flexibility to stack up events and do a lot of them. There will be a grand opening celebration ahead of the first concert on November 22nd. Tonight at 6 o'clock, Brad Brown gives us more of the tour in and around the arena. Well, you've seen the inside of the arena, but another big impact of the Fishers Event Center will be felt on the outside. Tonight, our Griffin Gonzalez shows us how the money will be flowing for nearby businesses. From Blake Shelton to professional volleyball, the Fishers Event Center is getting ready to host just about anything the city wants but it's also bringing a big boom for some local businesses. We're excited uh, about what's going on, especially with the Fishers Event Center. Brian Graham owns Four Day Ray Brewing, just minutes from the venue. Meanwhile, Jack Russell heads the local Chamber of Commerce. Uh, whether you love music, whether you love the arts, and of course, whether you love sports, it's all in one. This November, the Fishers Event Center opens its doors. We have been waiting for this event center to open up. We're talking 65, 8,500 people coming into our backyard, and some of them may experience Fishers for the first time. Bringing small businesses from the outside of the arena right to the heart of the action. One of our biggest roles when it comes to supporting the event center is going to be how do we engage small business owners, especially our restaurants and our retail. It's, it's the partnership that we started, you know, when we first said, yeah, you know, we want to be in Fishers and, you know, it's just continuing there, creating opportunities. And you're going to see once you're in the event center, there are also, while there's uh, large corporate names, there's also going to be mom and pop shops that are going to be uh, some of the, the things that make Fishers special are going to be in that event center as well. Our beer is going to be uh, over there for the events, so it's it's, it's pretty exciting for sure. Brian is looking forward to his business thriving when the first concert takes the stage. I mean, we've seen a lot of traffic from uh, Ruoff during the summer when the concert series are there. So we're really excited about what this is going to bring, um, you know, when that season closes down. A new big business filling seats in the arena and all around town. In Fishers, Griffin Gonzalez, WRTV. Well, the center still has some work to do before it opens. The first event is the Turnpike Troubadours on November 22nd, opening day. More information about upcoming events can be found at the Fishers Event Center website.